going into Cheltenham, we couldn't have had them in any better form. We believe we had a, a rock solid chance of, of succeeding. So the nerves were certainly ratcheting up as, as, as the day progressed. They're away, off and racing. He got a wonderful start, jumped brilliantly throughout the race. They went to a ferocious gallop and he got slightly shuffled back and slightly shuffled towards the outside, which um, the way it turned out, obviously it didn't do him any harm at all. He got a clear sight of his fences and the way he jumped down, down the back straight was, was an absolute joy. Present view is getting a great view of the next fence for young Brendan Powell wide. I think even I saw those strides from the stands and he never missed a beat. And uh, Brendan was able to fill him up and coast down the hill and, and then kick for home. And they make their way down towards the third last here. He pings this fence here, three from home, absolutely wings it, and he's away and running. I, I suppose we've got first run on, on the likes of Pender and at a glance at this stage, and, and they're having to, to play catch up to get to us. And I certainly, you know, if, you, if you've got a horse travelling at the bottom of the hill, and, and they're just having to squeeze to catch you, you've, you've obviously got, um, got first run on them, and we had first run on them that day, and he's turned into the straight here picked up well. Present view, the one to catch. Brendan's just sat up into him. He's got in tight to the second last. I suppose that was his only slightly, slightly bad jump, really, on the whole on the whole circuit. And then he's absolutely winged the last. Pricked his ears, winged that. Pendra's just got in tight to it at a glance. Just comes for a poke up the inside of us here, and that obviously results in a student's inquiry. But uh, our fellows carried on galloping all the way to the line, and it water water thrills past that post in front. Present view from the rally at a glance. Present view, first past the post. During that festival, Great British Racing had put a heart monitor on an owner, a trainer, a jockey, a punter, and a bookmaker. And I I think a, a, a lad or last leading up and um, they just happened to have the heart monitor on me as the trainer and your maximum heart rate should be 220 less your age and uh, I think mine should have been 185 or something at the time and as he crossed the line it, it I think it went up to 100 195 196 so it's um, just goes to show how much it does mean to you you know uh, it was um, a wonderful, wonderful day.